everyone. My name is Aryan. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Chirag. I'm from. Uh, I'm studying in 10th standard state. Uh, so we are talking about Sanskrit. Before we start, uh, I would like to thank uh, Vikas sir and the institution for giving giving us a uh, wonderful opportunity. What is Sanskrit? Sanskrit, meaning perfected or refined, is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, of all languages, in which most ancient documents are the Vedas composed in what is called Vedic Sanskrit. Vedic documents represent the dialects then found in the northern midlands of the Indian subcontinent and the areas immediately east. Thereof, the very earliest texts, including the Rig Veda, the Vedi, the Rig Veda means the Veda composed in verses, which scholars generally ascribe to approximately 1500 BC, stem M from the northwestern part of the subcontinent and the area of the ancient seven rivers, Sapta Sindhava. The Sanskrit language belongs to the Indo-Aryan branch of the Indo-European -Euro family. The oldest form of the Sanskrit dates back to 2nd millennium BC. Known as the mother of all languages, Sanskrit is dominant classical language of Indian subcontinent and one of the 22 official languages of India. It is also the lingual language of Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Originally, Sanskrit was considered not to be a separate language, but a refined way of speaking, a marker of status and education, studied and used by Brahmins. It existed alongside spoken vernaculars like Prakrits, which later evolved into modern Indo-Aryan languages. Sanskrit continued to be used as a first language long after it was no longer spoken. Origin. Sanskrit traces its linguistic ascendancy to Proto-Indian Iranian and ultimately to Proto-Indo-European languages, meaning that it can be traced historically back to the people who spoke Indo-Iranian, as well as the Indo-European languages, a family of several hundred related languages and dialects. The Sanskrit language was termed as Devani, Dev meaning God and Vani meaning language, as it was believed to have been generated by the god, god Brahma, who, who passed it to the Rishis living in the celestial abodes, who then communicated the same to the earthy disciples from where it spread on. The origin of the language in written form is traced back to the second millennium BC when the Rigveda, a collection of sacred hymns, is assumed to have been written after the continued, after being continued for centuries through oral tradition and preservation of verbal knowledge in the guru-disciple relationship. The purity of this version, the Vedic period from 1500 to 500 BC of Sanskrit, is doubtlessly reflected in the flamboyance of the perfect description of the forces of nature in the Rig Veda. History and evolution. Sanskrit has been written both in Devanagari script and in various religious scripts such as Sarada from the north, Bengali in the east, Gujarati in the west, and various southern scripts, including the Grata alphabet, which was especially diverse from the Sanskrit text. Knowledge of Sanskrit was a marker of social class and educational attainment in the ancient India and it was taught mainly to the members of higher castes in bracket social groups based on birth and employment status. In the medieval era, Sanskrit continued to be spoken and written particularly by Brahmins, the name for Hindu price of the higher caste for scholar communication. This is the extent of Vedic India around 1500 BCE. Branches. The two main branches of Sanskrit is Classic Sanskrit and Vedic Sanskrit. Sanskrit literature broadly comprises texts composed in the early attested descent of the Proto-Indian Aryan language and later on in the language formally defined by Panini, usually called Classic Sanskrit. Vedic Sanskrit. The pre-classical form of Sanskrit is known as Vedic Sanskrit. It forms an ancient language of the Indo-Aryan subgroup of the Indo-European family. It is demonstrated in the Vedas and re related literature assembled over the period of the mid-second and first millennium before the common era. 
it was orally preserved. In the left, we have the text from Vedic Sanskrit, and in the right, we have the text from classic Sanskrit. Now, I would like my friend Sirak to continue. Significance of Sanskrit. A beautiful language. Sanskrit grammar offers a beautifully clear structure as was recognized by Indian grammarians over 2,500 years ago. The script it is written was designed especially for it and allows us to know with great certainty how it was pronounced. A language of impeccable credentials. Knowledge of Sanskrit is highly respected by the ad academic community. It often forms a point of interest and admiration when students with Sanskrit qualifications are interviewed for university admission. Mastering the intricacies of Sanskrit grammar brings with it great insight into language structures in general. A further view of the world. Sanskrit literature offers an expansive view of human nature and its role in creation. In this era of unprecedented change and uncertainty, it can be a valuable tool to assess and look afresh at society. Sanskrit literature embodies a comprehensive map of human makeup, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. Its, its, phys its philosophical literature presents a clearly structured way of understanding our relationship to the rest of the creation and lays out guidelines on how to live life well. Playwrights and poets have skillfully crafted the language to offer timeless insights into the human mind. An Indo-European language. Sanskrit stands close to the root of English and most other European languages, classical and modern. Many English words are related to words and word forms that also exist in Sanskrit. It's Study eliminates their grammar and etymology, a literature that matches it in its wealth. Due to the way in which its grammar was fixed by grammarians like Panini, San Sanskrit has one of the most extensive literatures of all languages. It introduces students to vast epics, profound scripts, scripture, subtle philosophy, voluminous mythology, execucite, uh, poetry, and much else. Study of these works offers a study a student a wider perspective to enable a better understanding of their own tradition, but also shows them which questions and insights are shared across cultures. Applications. Sanskrit continues to be widely used as a ceremonial language in Hindu religious rituals and Buddhist practice in the form of hymns and mantras. While Varna Vernacular, vernacular prayer is common. Sanskrit mantras are recited by millions of Hindus and most temple functions are conducted entirely in Sanskrit, often Vedic in form. Sanskrit is the key to open the lock for the vast treasure house of knowledge that, uh, that is the real wealth of this country. The lack of expertise in this, in this language is the main reason why this knowledge is not available to most of the people in this country. For example, Srishrita Samhita is a, is a book on medicine and surgery written by Srishrita, who is said to be the first surgeon in the world. Unfortunately, most medical students have never heard about his name. We can only imagine the potential that could, have, that could be trapped from the knowledge of sages and using it in tandem to refine the modern method of surgery. Conclusion. Sanskrit declined starting about and after the uh, 13th century. This coincides with the be beginning of Islamic evasions of, this, of uh, South Asia to create and thereafter expand Muslim rule in the form of Sultanates. And later the Mughal Empire attempts at reviving the Sanskrit language have been undertaken in the Republic of India since its foundation in 1947. Sanskrit is recognized as a storehouse of uh, scripture and as the language of prayers in Hinduism, like Latin's influence on European languages and classical Chinese influence on East Asian languages. Sanskrit has influenced most Indian languages. 
recital of sanskrit shlokas as background chorus in films television advertisements and as slogans for corporate organization has become a trend the opera satyagraha by philip glass uses the text from the bhagavad gita sung in the original sanskrit our hope of becoming a great nation and realizing great dreams of the future and reclaiming the lost glory is inextricable linked to this central issue of reviving sanskrit ideally anyone attempting to understand hinduism should have a working knowledge of sanskrit ideally all hindu educational institutions and temples should teach sanskrit and all hindu youth should learn sanskrit in reality this is not occurring nor is it like to occur the critical mass that it takes to create a cultural culture of sanskrit learning is not here thank thank you